If this is your first time here, please like this video and then click subscribe and then bang the bell so you don't miss a thing when it comes to the absolute best business and personal relationship tips on the net. Now off to today's featured presentation. Enjoy. Right, welcome back to another episode of Navigating the Modern World with Coach Eli, the Daily Walk Edition. This is episode number 61, back at Red Morton Park, and it's a little overcast today, but it's not cold, and it's not raining, so uh, the weather is uh, cooperating for my Daily Walk video today. I'm back after uh, taking the weekend off to relax. It was uh, a weekend I needed to relax. I've been working very, very hard lately, nonstop creating videos, spending time with friends and family, and even my activity partner I've been doing hikes with on the weekend, just kind of hanging out. It's this lady, she's pretty cool, that I've been spending time with. It's uh, not anything serious. We're just kind of like, you know, good friends. I just enjoy the company of a woman, and who knows where it goes. I'm just updating you folks on that because I'm a very transparent and open person. But yeah, uh, it was uh, it was a good weekend, and I got a lot of much needed rest, so I'm relaxed and ready to come back full force to produce another week of videos for you folks out there. So, without further ado, let's just. Uh, get right to the topic, uh, and uh, we can uh, get right back to it. <laughs> you know, after you've taken a few days off and haven't done a video in a few days, you got to get your groove back, got to get your rhythm back, and sometimes it takes that first video to get back, so if I'm all over the place today, pardon me, but I am in a good mood, and I'm fired up, and I'm ready to rock and roll, so let's get to it. The topic of today is Navigating the Modern World with Coach Eli, the Daily Walk Edition, episode number 61, is there's no collaboration in MGTOW, plus most MGTOW slash Manosphere content creators are misleading men so there has to be a better outlet to solve men's issues and let me go as far and say women's issues as well because I help both men and women but because the MGTOW slash Manosphere community is basically for men that's why I titled it that way so one more time, the topic of today is Navigating the Modern World with Coach Eli, the Daily Walk Edition, episode number 61, is there's no collaboration in MGTOW, plus most MGTOW slash Manosphere men, most MGTOW slash Manosphere men are misleading men with their message and the way they're doing things, in my opinion. So there has to be a better outlet to help men solve issues. And in my case, I help both men and women help men and women solve issues. Now, in order for men to solve their issues, which primarily are with women nowadays, you got to get women involved. You got to create a community that has both men and women and hear both sides. That's just the honest truth. Those are just the facts. But when you join the MGTOW Manosphere community or you follow channels that are discussing this type of content, most of these creators are not open to hearing the side of women. And in many cases, they're not even open to 
hearing your side as a man. I guess that's why they call it men going their own way. I can understand that. Now, for those of you out there wondering why I'm even discussing this after I decided I'm leaving and not attaching the MGTOW name in any way, shape, or form, I felt the need to do this video today because I actually uh, still communicate with certain creators from this community that I feel are decent people and, you know, don't deserve to be shut out when they're actually good people. I don't have a problem communicating or collaborating with anyone, including people from the MGTOW Manosphere community, as long as you're reasonable our message is very similar and we're on the same page in regards to helping men better understand uh, you know, how to navigate this crazy modern world that we all live in today. And that you also understand that it's not 100% the fault of women. And you're also open to hearing the side that's coming from women, which most MGTOW slash Manosphere content creators are not. They're very set in their ways. So I'm going to get to that in just a little bit here. But before I get to that, I want to update you folks on something new that I'm doing that's going to help create this community that I've wanted to create. And once again today, let me mention that... Um, most of you are aware that I came back on the YouTube scene about two months ago. I started a new channel. Initially, I was only going to use it for storage purposes. Um, I wasn't going to get involved with the communities out on YouTube. Uh, again, because of what happened to me on my former channel that I shut down almost five months ago. But I reconnected with some people that I thought used to be my trolls, and, I, and they did kind of troll me in the past. But I reconnected with this group of people that wanted me to join their Discord group because they now understand what I went through since they went through a similar thing as well at the same time I was going through it last year. And this has made a huge difference in how I've started to look at things on my YouTube channel. And after I joined this Discord group about a month and a half ago or so, I really felt I had some support to come back out here and do things um, bigger and better this time. Based on what I've learned in the past of what not to do, and also having support from this group of people to help me, you know, fight off people that uh, are just trying to, you know, distract the message. And when I say fight off, I don't mean attack or anything like that, but basically support. You need to have support, you know, in order to get any message out there. If you don't have support, like if you put up a building and there's not enough support that building is going to crumble especially if there's an earthquake or something like that the building will just fall apart if there's not support and I honestly feel that this group that I joined it's called the Mad Shangy group Mad Shangy is a pretty prominent content creator out there within this Manosphere community I've been talking about this big time Manosphere community and so, you know, like I said, uh, being a part of this group has been like a huge support structure that I needed. I feel appreciated. I feel respected. And I respect the people in this group. And today within that group, the reason why I mentioned this is because today within this group, in the morning, it was suggested to me by a few others that I start my own Discord because there are a lot of people that I met on YouTube 
on my former channel that I'm still connected with that are even outside of this MGTOW Manosphere community that I spend the majority of my time on last year. And maybe a little bit of time on it, you know, uh, when I first started this channel. And maybe I still kind of am a little bit here and there, but it only makes sense for these example purposes to share this. But they're like, you, you, should, you should create your own Discord server because you can bring in a lot of people that we're not connected with. And, you know, it'll be more support for you. It'll connect them with us. It'll be a win-win for everybody. And I'm like, that's a great fucking idea. So what did I do? I dropped everything at that point, And I created a Discord server, a new Discord group. And the name of that Discord group is Coach Eli's Community of Unified Men and Women. One more time. The name of my new Discord group is Coach Eli's Community of Unified Men and Women. And that is the absolute purpose of this Discord group. That is the absolute purpose of this Discord group. To unify, which is another word for bring people together. To unify both men and women. Because I honestly feel that there's not a lot of unity happening. Not only within this MGTOW Manosphere community I've been talking about. But there's not a lot of unity, period whether you're involved with the MGTOW Manosphere group or not. And let me just wait for this guy on a, on a bike. It's one of those bikes that sells products. See that guy back there? He sells those uh, like uh, Mexican products. Hispanic products. Because here in Redwood City where I live, there's a large Hispanic population. So it's good business for them to walk around in their cart and to sell little snacks and shit like that. But I'll honestly say, those snacks, <laughs> they're not good for a fucking diet. They're very unhealthy for you. They're full of fucking sugar. Full of sugar, full of calories. Those snacks have a heart attack written all over them. Cholesterol up the ass. But yeah, I just ran into that person, so I wanted to mention that. So anyway, you know, the, the, the point of this server is going to be to basically connect not only all the people that I've met in the past, but to connect new people that want to more so unite, that want to share their opinion freely and want to learn about what's really going on in today's modern world. Excuse me a second. A few people just popped out on that side, so they want to interrupt them and they're going the opposite way. You can see them back there. <laughs> yeah, the whole point of this is to unite people. And, 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 and share with them what's really going on, the truth about what's going on. And for everybody within this Discord group to share their opinions on how they feel things are going and why they feel things are going that way. Now, I have not created the rules yet for this group. I just kind of threw up the group and sent out a bunch of invitations. And I've been noticing on my phone that a lot of people are joining it. So I kind of wanted to see how many people would join first before I put some more effort into it and create the rules and stuff, but there will be rules. And I'll mention those rules here. You're more than welcome to state your opinion about any topic that we're discussing or create your own topic to discuss and ask for feedback. You're more than welcome to come into this Discord group and share your YouTube channel. You can show your YouTube channel for all I care. This is a group where we're going to unify and connect and we're not going to really put a lot of restrictions on it. The only thing I will not tolerate is projecting your stuff onto other people. 
have a debate. But if you're going to come on to this Discord to either A, number one, criticize me and call me names like a cuck or whatever or call anyone else uh, names like a cuck or whatever, okay, you will be banned immediately. I have moderators uh, in this Discord that are looking for that. As a matter of fact, I may even just create like a, a bot that will automatically ban you for saying that so we don't even have to moderate it. Okay? I want this group to allow for free discussion, but in a civil way, in a reasonable way. In a way where we're not out here attacking one particular person. Now, if we talk about things in general, okay, that may appear like we're attacking a certain group or something, that's, that can, that's understood because, you know, different groups are going to have, you know, different feelings about other groups. That's not a problem. But if you come out to this server to specifically attack any certain individual, especially myself that owns this group, you will be banned immediately. If you disagree with my views or someone else's views, feel free to share that. Okay, say, hey, dude, I disagree with you. Okay, hey, you know what? I, I, I respect your opinion, but I disagree with you, and here's the reason why. If you just come out and say, oh, he's just being a fucking cuck, because he's a fucking cuck. He doesn't know any better. You'll be banned. You can say the same thing in different ways. You know... Coming out and calling somebody a name, such as cuck or whatever, you would label someone that you disagree with is just, is, is, is just you know, poking the bear. It's just being childish. You're not really backing it up with, you know, logic and reasoning and the facts on why you feel that way. You're just out there to stir the pot, acting like a little fucking kid to get, to get attention. If you do that in this server, you will be banned. But besides that, we want this, or I want this server, and the rest of the moderators and people that are going to help me run it, we want you to be able to express yourself freely. We want you to be able to network and connect with other people that can possibly even help you grow your YouTube channel or get your message out, okay? We want to learn from your experiences of your dating relationships or your marriages, okay? We want to learn you know, about your experiences in the workforce, the corporate workforce, or even if you're self-employed, your experiences of trying to become a successful entrepreneur and the struggles you've had to get to where you want to get to. And for those of you that have reached success as an entrepreneur, share with us how you got there. We want to hear the struggles of what it actually took for you to get there so we can all learn how to get there as well should we choose to go that route. I'm trying to... There's a person over here who's walking around aimlessly and I'm trying to avoid him. So... And that dude that was just walking back there was like walking around. He's just he's looking for some office or something. Rather than just asking somebody. <laughs> he didn't ask me, so I just walked right past him. But I was trying to not freak him out with the fact that I'm holding up, up this selfie stick and <laughs> and doing this video here at the park. But anyway. So yeah, please join the Discord server. Okay? Even to those of you out there that have attacked my message in the past, I'll even mention these people by name. Even to you purple pillars out there, you guys have said, hey, look, you know, you, um, you won't come in any live streams with us and debate us anymore. Well, this is your opportunity to come out there and have a debate with myself. Now, it's not going to be on YouTube. It's not going to be live on a stream or anything like that. But this is another outlet for you to come and speak your mind. And we can have that debate within this Discord group. Now, if you come back at me and say, 
well, I'd rather do it live on YouTube. Then, then you're being selfish because you, you're basically trying to use me or somebody else to get ratings for your channel. This is not about ratings and stuff like that. This is about getting down the business and really tackling some issues and making headway to truly help people in ways that we're just not doing. This is going to be a safe way to do it. And like I said, this is going to be a group of positive-minded people. Are we going to have some negative people in there? Sure, there are going to be people that are, are going to come off as negative. And if you share your negative viewpoints in, in a reasonable way, we will tolerate that. But if you come into this you know, discord just to attack people, just to project your views onto one person... And you're not out there to state your opinion in a general way, you will be banned immediately. Okay? But it's gonna be it's a public Discord. It's gonna have a full-time permanent link, which I will be sharing below in the description of this video and future videos to come. The link to my Discord will be at the very top of every single place that I share my videos, at least for the time being. And eventually, once it grows. I'll end up moving it down to the middle of the description. Right now, I want to put it at the very top so as many so as many people as possible can see it and can join the group. Because right now we're just we just started it. We're gonna we're gonna promote it. And we're gonna really push it because this is where I want to take my community. This is where I want to take things uh, in the right direction. And this is going to give each and every one of you out there the outlet that you've been all seeking. Whether it's people that, you know, want to debate me that I've kind of shut out from debating live on YouTube. Or whether you are people that I met from different communities that, you know, have tried to connect with some other communities and express yourself but they haven't been open to it. We're open to everything here on Coach Eli's Discord server. So once again, join that server. Coach Eli's community of united men and women. Whether you're gay, straight, lesbian, bi, trans, even if you're gender non-conforming, even if you're gender non-conforming, non-binary, okay, regardless of who you are, we want to learn from you because you're a part of this modern world. And the more that we unify... And the more we unite, another way to say it, same thing, the more we can unite in one place, congregate in one place to discuss these issues that affect everybody at a global level, I think it's going to make a huge difference. I think it's going to make a really huge difference. So, anyway... Enough of that. I think I promoted the new Discord server enough. I know there are going to be people out there that are going to act childish and immature and stupid. And they're going to come in and talk a bunch of smack. We're ready to ban you. We know you're going to do that. So, you know, spare yourself the time and the heartache of coming out there. If you plan on doing that because you'll be squashed immediately. Coach Eli is finding better ways to help people and connect people, and this is just one of them. I've learned from my past mistakes on YouTube. I've paid attention whether you think I have or not, and I've found better ways to make things happen, not just for myself, but for others that are coming here to my channel looking for some guidance and some leadership to help them get through something regardless of whatever it is. Okay? So let's move forward. How far have we gone already? We've gone 23 minutes. Shit. <laughs> I went off on a rant on a tangent. <laughs> That's all right. I'm known for that. All right. So let's talk about um, the fact that, um, you know, MGTOW men are not collaborators. Okay, you know, from what I've seen in the MGTOW Manosphere community, 
And again, I'm just mentioning this for example purposes because I have a story to share uh, in regards to a channel that I tried to collaborate with that I felt had a similar message as I do. Okay? But most MGTOW men that run their channels are not really open to collaboration. And I'm all about collaboration. I think one of the best ways we can learn is by collaborating with others. If you're running a YouTube channel, interviewing other people, or doing some videos together, is a great way to, you know, not only help them grow their channel, they can help you grow your channel. It's a win-win in that aspect. Also, you can learn from each other. Even if your viewpoints are similar, no two viewpoints are ever 100% exactly alike. You might learn something from them. They might learn something from you. And so will both of your audiences. But if uh, you're not open to collaboration, just like I feel most, if not all, MGTOW men or Manosphere men that run these types of channels on YouTube are, are not open to, you can't have that aspect. Then it's, then it's just about you. Then the focus is all on you. And how you feel things should be or how you feel everyone should be. It's almost kind of like you're self-projecting through your channel on how you want people to be. And if they're not like that, then you want nothing to do with them. There's nothing, you know, that unifies people in regards to that. So to me, in my personal opinion, most MGTOW channels out there do not believe in unity. <laughs> it's part of the issue. Okay? Let me give you an example. I reached out to a MGTOW content creator that I was made aware of through my Discord. I'm just going to mention it by name. If it pokes the bear, big fucking deal. I already commented on this guy's channel, and apparently he knew who I was from my past. I guess uh, a lot of people know who I am. Maybe I made a name for myself, good, bad, or indifferent. At least I made a fucking name for myself. Standing up for what I believe in. But this guy, his name, uh, MTMM is his channel, which stands for Mike the MGTOW Monk. And I viewed one of his videos. I viewed one of his videos because there's been a lot of talk about him through my Discord and other avenues where people have had some issues you know, with some of his behavior outside of his channel. Like, he'll go onto other people's live streams and just talk a bunch of nonsense horse shit. But I wanted to see for myself. And when I went to see the video that I was suggested through my Discord to go view, I actually thought the guy was pretty reasonable and civil. I really liked what Mike the MGTOW Monk had to say. So what did I do? I made a comment on his channel. I said, hey, great video, dude. You're the man. You're awesome. I appreciate your work. And I went on further and said, I would love to collaborate with you on some projects in the future. Let me know what you think. And he got back to me this morning. I sent that message last night, or that comment last night. Or maybe a few days ago, I can't remember when I sent it initially. And he said, you know, um, I, I would rather not associate uh, with someone that, uh, you know, is not, you know, looked upon in a good way throughout the community or frowned upon within the community. So apparently this Mike the MGTOW Monk guy that I didn't even know existed until my Discord made me aware of him. Okay, and I, and I knew a lot of the prominent uh, MGTOW Manosphere content creators from my former channel because, you know, I, I did stir the pot up last year. I was very involved. So I didn't even know about this guy, but he knew about me. I was just reaching out to see if we can collaborate on some things because I feel our message is very similar. It might, might not be exactly 100%, but it's very similar. And I really liked his approach, and he seemed to be a good guy. But he basically said that, you know, in other words, that if him and I were to work together, he would be guilty by association, okay, uh, because of how the community 
has frowned upon me, and he doesn't want to get involved in that. Okay, so Mike the MGTOW monk. Maybe I'm poking the bear. Maybe I'm calling you out. Okay. Why do you care about what other people think about me? Or why would you? Why do you care? If you're a man going your own way, Mike the MGTOW monk, why would you care about how other people feel about you if you want to work with me? Now, I can understand if you don't want to work with me without any outside influence. If you just don't like my message within your own heart and soul, okay, and you just don't think it's a good fit to work coming from yourself without any outside influence, I can understand that. But what you're basically coming out and saying is that because the community doesn't approve of you, uh, Coach Eli, I can't associate myself with somebody like that. Really, dude. So you're going to let the community dictate which way you go. So in my opinion, Mike the MGTOW Monk, you're really not a man going your own way because you're a man going the way your community is, is, is telling you to go. Because that's what you're telling me, in other words, when you're saying that it wouldn't be wise for you to associate with me because of what the community thinks about me. You're not a man going your own way, Mike the MGTOW Monk, if you're doing what your community is telling you to do or if you fear repercussion from your community on any decision that you would make for yourself. Wow, dude. Seriously. This is why this MGTOW Manosphere community is so fucked up. The way some of these guys think is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Mike, I still, I still have love for you, man. I still think your content is great. Okay? I can come out and say that. But again, if, if you're deciding that you want no association with me because of what other people in the community think about me, I can't respect that. If you personally yourself, Mike, just don't like me or don't like my message or feel it's not good for you to work with me, if, it, if that's coming from your heart, Without any outside influence, then I can respect that. I cannot respect the way you responded to me. It's a really sissy way to fucking, you know, respond to it, man. No disrespect. I'm just being honest. You know, Mike was actually nice to me. He was saying, you know, dude, I understand. You know, thank you. He was appreciative of, of my message. But then he went on and said, I can't work with you because of how the community sees you. So let me ask you, Mike, and everyone else out there, what have I done wrong to this community? All I've done is try to help out and bring people together. Now, again, I'm no longer a part of the community. I've withdrawn myself. Like I mentioned, I'm only mentioning this because of my experience of reaching out to this guy, Mike the MGTOW Monk. And just because I no longer associate with the MGTOW community or associate my name, which is what I'm trying to say with it, doesn't mean that I'm going to shut the good people in that community out. I'm still open to working with people from the MGTOW community or the Manosphere community. As long as you can separate how other people feel about myself or you and focus on us getting to know each other. If you're a great content creator, you don't let outside influence deter you from your initial message. If you believe in yourself, you're going to stick to your guns no matter you know how many people try to, try to you know, sway your views or sway what you uh, are trying to accomplish. But see, a lot of you guys out there, the reason why you, you know, behave this way is because you know how fragile the MGTOW community is. And you know if you actually stand up and discuss what you believe in or work with someone like me, okay, you know you're going to lose a lot of followers because these men are so weak that, you know, if they see you associating with me just because they don't like who I am or my views, they're going to unsubscribe and leave. Well, if, Mike, if your views and my views are pretty similar, which based on what I've seen in some of your videos, I've seen a few of them, okay, 
I believe our views are very similar. If our views are very similar, even though they're not 100%, then why would your audience feel different about, you know, you working with someone that has similar views as you? It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me. So, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one alone right there and say that, hey, you know what? If you're out there trying to collaborate with other MGTOW Manosphere content creators in any way, shape, or form, whether you're another MGTOW or Manosphere content creator or whether you're somebody from the outside trying to interview you know, channels on what MGTOW is about. Like many major networks have reached out to MGTOW content creators and they've denied an interview. Why would you deny that interview? You see, the, the problem with a lot of MGTOW, Manosphere creators out there is these guys are very, very closed off and they're setting their ways and they're running their channel based on their own beliefs and they don't give a shit about anyone else's beliefs. They just believe in what they want to believe in. But they're not open to the suggestions and change. They're not, they're not open to hearing feedback from others. Even for a community that's about going your own way. Okay? You can be a man going your own way and lead a community of other men that might not be going the exact same way you're going but are going the way they feel is right for them and you can still support them. I honestly believe that there are no two men that are going to go down the same exact path. There are, let me repeat that. There are no two men that are going to go down the same exact path. We each choose our own unique path to travel on. That's why men are different. That's why we're unique. That's why you're never going to find two men exactly the same. So why can't we learn from each other instead of shut each other out like many MGTOW Manosphere content creators do? Let me tell you, Mike the MGTOW Monk, I'm going to grow this channel and grow this network to an astronomical level. Coach Eli, and this may be getting in my head a little bit, but I'm going to be honest, Coach Eli is going to have a bigger and better and brighter YouTube channel and presence with, within YouTube and as a public figure more so than all you guys. It may not happen right away, but eventually I'm going to pass all you guys up because I have a way more positive message of unity. And you MGTOW Manosphere guys, you creators, a lot of you are not about unity. You're not. And maybe it's because you've recently gone through a breakup or a divorce and you've had half your shit taken and you're emotionally hurt and in a fucked up emotional position. You've got to get over that. You're still a fucking man. You've got to get over that. And, and you can't stop believing in unity even though you had a couple of bad situations. That knocked you down for a little bit. You got to get back on that fucking horse. Stand up for yourself. But be good to other people, men and women. Welcome everyone into your house with open arms. As long as they're respectful and they appreciate you. Mike the MGTOW Monk, I approach in a respectful way. But you slammed the fucking door in my face. You, you were polite about it. But you still slammed the fucking door in my face. For what? Because other people don't like me and you're associated with them? I heard Mike the MGTOW Monk that you're associated with those purple pill guys that don't like me. Seriously, man. Your content is way better than theirs. If you're going to sit there and stoop to their level and not want to want to work with me or, or collaborate with me on anything because you're afraid of losing their friendship, then man... Maybe you made the right decision for the both of us. Maybe you did me a favor by denying my collab opportunity. That's as far as this goes right here. So that's why if you're trying to collaborate with MGTOW, Manosphere, content creators, it's going to be next to impossible. 
Okay, so, you know, oh, I was gonna mention this. There are a few notable MGTOW content creators out there that do have the right message and have a great message and I will support and endorse them forever. Let me mention a few right now. Number one, Traversable. It's a great content creator. Number two, Riff Magos is a great content creator. These guys are MGTOW monks. They're real MGTOW monks. As far as you, Mike the MGTOW monk, I'm wondering if you're really an actual monk. I know Traversable is, and I know Riff is, and I respect and fully endorse their channels. Ooh, wow, they're doing some really heavy construction over here where they're building a new playground at the park, as you can see over here. So pardon the, uh, the drilling noise in the background there. But yeah, I support Traversable. I support Rift Magos. And there may be a few other channels that discuss MGTOW content that I support. Charles F. Gray is one of them, obviously. He's a guy I collaborate with. By the way, our brand new show will premiere tomorrow night at 9 Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on twitch.tv at twitch.tv forward slash Coach Eli. The link is below in the description to sign up on my Twitch as well. But yeah, I'm not sitting here saying 100% of all MGTOW content creators or MGTOW slash Manosphere content creators are misleading people, but most of them are. There are only a few that have the right ideas and actually care about you regardless of your views. They may not agree with your views, like Traversable and Riff. They don't agree with, with a lot of my views, but they know I'm a good person and they, and they know I'm not out there to hurt anyone. I'm out there to help people. They're monks. They've withdrawn from, from the plantation in regards to women. I haven't. I know there are people that don't want to withdraw, so I can help those people. But they know that my intentions are pure and, and I'm not out here to shill and rip people off. Yes, I do have paid services, but I'm honest about them. There's, there's, that's, that doesn't make you a shill. What makes you a shill is when you try to sell something to a community that has nothing to do with their community, but you're trying to make them believe that it, it, it would be good for them. There were people that were trying to sell like, like cannabis, liquid cannabis or some shit like that online. <laughs> Lots of noise, big diesel trucks. There were people, I, I think Mig, Miggy 101 or MGTOW 101, his ch new channel was called Men 101. I believe his channel got shut down because he was trying to sell like liquid cannabis or some shit like that. I can't remember what it was. I heard he was even warned by a major MGTOW content creator named Sandman not to do it. And he did. He probably got shut down for spam and deceptive practices. That's a shill right there, guys and gals. I'm not a fucking shill. I do have paid services for my coaching business. It's up to you if you want to use them, but I'm never going to try to sell you something that has nothing to do with what I do or the communities I'm involved with. Okay? So, you know, I mentioned a few creators there that are decent. There are a few decent people out there, but the majority of the people in the MGTOW Manosphere community that are running a YouTube channel are misleading men. Even if they think they're not, they are. They're misleading men. And they're creating more harm than actually helping men. There has to be a better solution. The second part of this is there has to be a better solution you know, to helping men solve these issues. And, and like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I help both men and women together solve these issues because these issues for you men, especially you straight men out there that are MGTOW or want to be MGTOWs or are part of the manosphere looking for information, you come looking for information after you either go through a divorce or you've been through a massive breakup that hurts you financially, mentally, emotionally, whatever. 
you need a better place to to get the help and information that you need from emotionally stable, strong, and intelligent people that care about you. That care about you beyond your money and that care about you beyond your political views or anything else. That care about you just because you have a heart, you have a soul, and you're able to breathe the air. We care about you solely on the fact that you're alive and you're a breathing human being on this planet. I'm one that personally cares about the well-being of everyone. I'm all about unity and bringing everyone together. Like I mentioned earlier, whether you're gay, straight, lesbian, bi, trans, or even gender non-conforming like the, uh, like the non-binary people out there today. I heard about that late or middle of last year or so, or early last year, first time. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, okay, it's here. Okay, welcome. You're welcome. I want to learn more about you non-binary people. And why you're going that way and, 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 and what happens to you when you're going through that. Okay? Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, on the left or the right, liberal or conservative. I want to learn from you. You're all welcome. I'm not going to sit here and judge you based on anything. Now, granted, I've shared my opinion about liberal views and conservative views. In, in, a, in a general setting. But that doesn't mean I'm not open to talking with you guys. Doesn't mean I'm not open to being your friends because you're, you're a conservative and I'm a liberal. As long as you're willing to have a civil conversation about it like, like grown adults. I can be friends with anyone. I want to learn more about why you choose a certain party. You know, I want to learn more about why you're choosing to live your life as a non-binary individual. I want to learn more about, you know, um, you know, how your gay and lesbian relationships are going. What affects those relationships? I want to learn from all of you folks. And that's what I'm willing, or that's how I'm willing to help other people is by, by creating this big community, primarily through my new Discord server now, where we can all communicate freely and learn from each other. And this is open to everyone. I know the, the, the MGTOW community had some, some transsexuals that were involved or may still be involved. You're more than welcome on my Discord server. I want to hear from you. What made you decide to go the route that you decided to go? What made you decide that you no longer want to be a man and now you want to be a woman? I'm, I'm not kicking you down. I'm, I'm curious. Does it happen emotionally? Were you born that way? Did, did, did something happen to your life where you decided to make that change? I want to hear from you folks. With no disrespect, I want to learn from you. Have a civil conversation about it. That's what will happen in Coach Eli's community of unified men and women within my Discord server. So go down below and sign up for it. It's free. If you don't have Discord, you can, you can actually sign up for free. I believe it's discord.com. You can do it from your, from your laptop or desktop. Or you can even download the free mobile app on your Android or iPhone. Even if you're one that likes to use a PC or, or, or a Mac, a laptop or desktop to communicate throughout your days, okay? You should also download the Discord app to your phone as well. It's a great thing to have. That way, if you're sitting down on your couch and relaxing, you get notifications. If there's something that you want to respond to, you can do it easily without having to fire up your laptop or desktop. How far have we gone here? We've gone, I think, what, 48 minutes? I can't even see uh, 48 minutes, almost 49 minutes. So, I'm going to start wrapping this video up here in a few. I'm going to walk down to the end of this sidewalk here. And then I'm going to walk back to my car. You know, some people... 
that have been following me for a while will probably come out and say, you promised you would never mention MGTOW or anything like that again in your videos. I didn't promise that. Maybe I said that by mistake. What I promised was that I'm not going to associate my name with MGTOW or the Manosphere in any way. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to talk about this group. It doesn't mean that, you know, I, I'm not willing to work with people from this community because people are people regardless of wherever you meet them. And there are some decent people I met through the MGTOW Manosphere, even though the majority are <laughs> some of the most interesting, <laughs> unreasonable <laughs> men I've met in my entire life. And I got to tell you, like, the majority of these guys through MGTOW that run these channels are very, very, like, emotionally hurt. They're emotionally weak. Maybe it's because they've recently gone through a divorce or a or a breakup or something. I can understand that. I've been through that shit. I've never been married to be able to have gone through a divorce, but I've been hurt in a relationship. Similar thing. So I get how it feels. But when you're coming out here and running a channel, you have to take into consideration, you know, how other people are going to see that. You have to take into consideration that, you know, you can't just come out here and make it all about you. You got to make it about others. You got to grow together. Like for me, this is, I don't do this, you know, just to blow up my head and to try to make money. I do this because I care about people. I want to give back. I want to give back to people. I want people to learn from my mistakes. I want people to learn from my stories. So that way, Maybe they won't have to go through as much crap as I went through before they figure out how to start navigating things on the right path. And even once you start figuring out how to more so navigate on the right path, you're a human being. You're still going to make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, but you'll make far fewer mistakes and you'll have better instinct on how to respond to certain things that you didn't respond to as well in the past because you were inexperienced and now you are and that's what I do here now one more thing I want to mention here there's a a, a channel it's cats with something I can't remember what the name is this this person commented on my latest video and I'm thinking he's legitimate he mentioned that he's a single dad, he's a struggling single dad, and that my videos brighten up his day each and every day. And let me tell you, when I read that, it made my fucking day. I got that on my phone, I think it was on Friday or Saturday. I still haven't responded to it. I'll respond to that comment maybe later tonight or tomorrow. But I wanted to acknowledge this person and say, you know what? Even if you're the only person out there that is feeling better by watching my videos and it helps you get through your rough days of struggling to be a single dad. Maybe you went through a divorce and maybe your ex-wife took you for half your shit and hurt you financially. Or maybe she got more, you know, custodial rights to, to your child. Okay? Or your, or your children. I don't know if you have one child or more than one child. Maybe you're going through all that. I appreciate you coming out here and, and saying that because it makes me feel good knowing that my content makes you feel better. Even if you're the only single person that I'm helping out there, it's worth it for me to continue doing this, even for just one person. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to grow this bigger and better. But that's... That's not what drives me to do this. What drives me to fucking do this are guys like that coming out there and publicly, you know, stating that, hey, I'm a single, I'm a struggling single dad and your videos make me feel better every day. You know what, brother? Let me tell you something. When I went through my two breakups ago, not the last one that happened about six months ago, two breakups ago, I mentioned this lady before. She's the veterinarian. She cheated on me. Two breakups ago, when I was going through that breakup, I would watch a guy named Big John who used to run a channel called Nick Freedom before YouTube shut him down. 
I looked forward to his videos each and every day because you know what? He, his videos made me feel better. Knowing that I'm not alone, knowing that someone else out there has been through what I've been through. Maybe his wife cheated on him. I don't think John ever mentioned that, but I'm sure she probably did. Okay? But having that outlet there and knowing that every single day he was going to put out a video, I would wake up to making my coffee and watching Big John. And if he missed a day or so, I was like not feeling the same. I got hooked on that, and it made me feel better. And I got to the point of where I met an even better woman. Even though we're split up today, I don't need to get into that. But you know what? I met an even better woman. But at that point, that helped me get through a rough time. And I appreciated that. And I still appreciate that about him to this very fucking day. Okay? Okay? In other words, what you're saying is that you're appreciating that about me. And I'm coming out here saying that I appreciate you, man. And and keep your head up high, man. Keep moving forward. It's going to get better. I don't know your entire situation. Feel free to share it in the comments or send me an email if you'd like. And I can do a response for you. And share my thoughts. Okay? But one day you're going to find a better woman if you're still open to possibly dating or getting married again. I'm not quite sure exactly what you want in a life. But what I do respect about you is the fact that you're coming out here and you're acknowledging that these videos help you and it it makes me believe that you're a civil person. Whether you agree with my views or not, you're coming out here in a civil way and you're saying that you appreciate it. And I think you even said, you know, subscriber for life or something. Your videos help me get through my days. It's one of the reasons why I do this. Not just for men, but for women. We're all struggling. We all have issues. We all go through shit. And and, and the majority of us, rather than talking about it, we close up about it. We're closed off. Because we're afraid on how other people are going to react. Look, I understand it. It's not easy to share how you feel about certain things with your friends and family and, and maybe your significant other and other people, okay, when you're, when you're going through something. But look at me. Look what I'm doing. I come out here and I put this shit out publicly on YouTube, the largest video platform in the planet. I also share it on Facebook and my website, but primarily for YouTube, like I've been mentioning, this is where my main audience is at. But think about it. If I can come out here and publicly share my stories to help you folks and talk about personal things that have affected me, okay? You should be able to op- more so open up to others within, you know, your communities or, or your family, your friendships, etc. And, and, and talk about things. Don't, don't, don't close yourself off. That's the problem with the world nowadays. We, we've closed ourselves off. I'm going to wrap up by saying this. Coach Eli's community of unified men and women, that Discord server, if you go below in the description and you, you, you join a Discord group, okay, we want to hear your stories and we want to help you. In that Discord group, I'll be, I'm willing to help anyone there at no cost. As long as it's done in a public forum, you can leave your name out, you can create any fake username you want to protect your identity, but I'd be willing to help you out for free there because it's going to be helping out a bunch of people at once. And that's my gift of what I want to give to this community. And you know what? You'll get the opinions of not only from me, but from other people in that group as well that are pretty, that are pretty experienced at dealing with similar shit as I talk about. Okay? So that's going to wrap it up here from uh, Red Morton Park. This is, uh, it's 58 minutes, almost an hour. All right, I'm going to go walk another three or four laps and then go upload this and then prepare for my show tomorrow night. Once again, don't forget tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Sorry, 9 p.m. Eastern. I keep fucking that up in some videos. Tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. 
on my Twitch TV channel, twitch.tv forward slash Coach Eli. Charles F. Gray, Charles F. Gray and I, that's what I'm trying to say, are going to be launching um, our first actual episode of Masculinity Matters with Charles F. Gray and Coach Eli. I know the prelude show that Charles F. Gray actually ended up uploading on his channel uh, had, you know, some very stuttery, shitty quality. I've fixed all those issues, and the show will be crystal clear in 1080 PhD and great sound. Um, you're going to want to check that out. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that for right now. But check it out. Just go below in the description and sign up for free on my Twitch TV channel at twitch.tv forward slash Coach Eli. And you'll be notified when the show goes live or just show up there shortly before tomorrow or most Tuesdays from, from this point on at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Okay? And that's going to wrap it up for today. You all have yourselves a wonderful day. Be good to each other. Okay? Be good to each other. Okay? Don't let anyone bring you down. Stand up for what you believe in. Okay? If you stand up for what you believe in, okay, even if you don't get to where you want to get to right away, at some point you will eventually find the right path and reach success. That's my tip of the day. Have a great one. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Windshield wipers.